Okay, we're back after a, a, a brief intermission to fix the course. The limits of these 31s are really starting to show themselves. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, baby. Throw a little Moab bump in here. <laughs> this is a RC four wheel drive K10 Scottsdale edition with all the bells and whistles on it. Big shout out to RC four wheel drive. I noticed what they were doing on the scale stuff and I reached out to them and I said, I got, I got to work with you guys on these trucks because they're next level. And they said, great, we're launching one of our higher end, detailed, ready to run square bodies. And they sent me this, I had my kids assemble it, and we've been having a blast with this thing. I'm gonna keep this crawler as, uh, or this scale truck as kind of my show queen, I think. It's, it's just too pretty. Uh, wait until you guys see the detail inside. It's just, it's gorgeous. I have my bashers, I have my whole uh, scale crawlers that I like to have fun with, but for those of you who are new to the four wheel world, if you just wander in here because you love red trucks, this thing is an amazing example of uh, how far we've come technology wise and also in the scale world. I, I can't get over this stuff. Now I've, I've been into RC or at least on the periphery for a few years now, but you know, I kind of, get busy doing other stuff and I'll check in every now and then and it'll just be at the next level, the next level. More tire companies coming on board, more off-road companies licensing their name and their brand. I mean, it's just, it is rad. So, I mean, just down to the detail on the mirrors. The mirrors are, are right. The, the, the font in the badging is right. The scale and the proportions are right. Not to mention a hood that opens, Real squishy tire, and then let's let's get this guy out of here so you guys can actually see underneath. But um, my little work stand for this guy there. But leaf sprung suspension has just look at that. Look at this transfer case skid. It's it's gorgeous. It's a ready to run kit, so it comes pretty much ready to run. Now, there is some assembly with that, so don't expect to give it to your two-year-old and have him playing with it by the end of the day. Um, but it's, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So yeah, let's bring you guys in closer and we'll show you some of the detail under the hood and uh, we'll pull the body off and take a look at it too. Check that out. I, I wanna make sure we're still in focus here. Ali, can you, can you work the camera so I can show the people the cool stuff? Um, look at that. It's an official Chevy small block. Still running vacuum boost. Let me pick it up so you can see it here. Battery is in the correct location. I'm not sure where the wires are going. Uh, looks like they're heater core wires, but whatever. Vacuum boost. You've got your wiper motor here. The distributor for this big burly V8 and the radiator cap is even on the right side. This is, this is so cool. And then when we turn it on, oh, and tailgate. Tailgate comes down and then I don't know if we can get this in focus, but one of my buddies made a Merrick's Garage sticker that fits perfectly on the rear window. That is rad, huh? Okay, let's see if that breakover angle is gonna get us again. Come on, skid plate. Let's try and go back. Keep 
mind this is leaf springs. You have to modify that skid plate. Yeah, well, I think we need. I think we need to uh, do a transfer case lift, or maybe a full suspension lift. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Don't notice that. Come on, baby. Oh, this is so much fun. I stole my mom's I was a pro. Dude, Digger is digging. Let's, bro, get up that junk. You ready for it? Yeah, let's go. Put you in a freaking heart locker. Uh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know how I'll ever financially recover from this. <laughs> You need to get that one with me. This is a devastating hit. Get the oh. Okay, now turn around in here. Let's see if I can get back. Dude, this is rad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to build trucks anymore. I want to play with trucks. Dude, this, this, this fender is a hell of a gatekeeper. <laughs> Sorry I'm geeking out over this thing, but, but you gotta remember, I'm a child who grew up in the 80s. I loved all this scale RC stuff, but we never had it like this. I mean, brushless motors and lithium battery. I mean, this is, this is nickel metal and I don't know if this is brushed, but regardless, all that stuff is out there, but it's the level of detail. It's like you can actually go and find Swampers or thorn, thorn birds, thorn birds or thorn birds. I mean, look at this, look at this rear axle. It, it looks legit. So I gotta say, like, if you're, if you got a, if you got a kid who you're trying to get into vehicles, like, this is probably one of the best ways to get them in. If you're trying to understand how this stuff works, you know, transfer cases, driveline angles, differentials, transmissions, it's probably one of the best ways to 
get hands on with just seeing how the physics work too, how axle wrap works and articulation in a solid uh, axle situation versus independent. Anyway, this, I could ramble on about these things forever. Leading us to say they're exceedingly, exceedingly cool. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some other ones real quickly with a quick montage. And uh, yeah, shout out to RC Four Wheel Drive for sending me this. It is rad. I am super stoked. Um, I think I found myself another hobby to waste even more time on. So thanks for that, guys. This thing continues to impress me. Not only does it look legit, like real, real scale, it drives and crawls remarkably well. Now, as you saw in my video, it did kind of get bashed up, but there's, there's nothing really to show for that. Uh, I think I've got maybe a scratch on the, oh, you can't even see it on there. Yeah, this thing rocked it. Um, and look at that, that's the badging. I was talking about. Oh, that's dope. Nice job, guys. And the door handles and the key. Yeah, yeah, really, really nice attention to detail. Now, I guess for all of that scale realism, the price you gotta pay is the simplicity in removing the body to get to the battery and other things. You've got these bolts that have to, well, screws really, that have to screw in to support the body and tie it into the frame. But I mean, look, look at this, the wheel liners, the front hangers, the grill, it's just really, really well done. I mean, just look at that. Anyway, in short, this was a remarkable truck. It crawled as well as these guys did. I'm not gonna put it on the same level because this is more of a basher. And this one really didn't do any crawling because uh, I gotta work on the electronics. But comparing the TRX-4 to the RC four-wheel drive Trail Finder 2 really isn't fair. You know, two different knives for the same gunfight. But, man, what it does set out to do, it does remarkably well. The scale realism in this is just next level so very very stoked to uh receive this looking forward to doing some some cool build with this but man i just can't stop looking at it look how cool that is you guys